everyone. It's Lindsay from Painting with a Choice. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, we're doing lots of technique videos for you guys at home. Uh, if you don't know already, we are doing to-go painting kits. And those you can get online at potterybyyou.com. You can sign up there. We do curbside pickup, delivery, shipping, whatever you need to paint at home. Okay, Everything you need comes in that kit. And we want you to enjoy as much uh, creative time as you can while we are all self-isolating. I hope you are all staying safe. Uh, now today I am going to be showing you a very easy method to create leaves using a paper towel. Now you can kind of see on here, we've got lots of beautiful texture, all made with a paper towel. It's so, so easy. What you want to do is crumble this guy up, really, really messy. I like to do this a few times. So you can get it just a little softer, you get lots of those little ridges, lots of little bits of texture, okay? Because you would you mind handing me a little bit of white paint? Thank you much. Okay, so you're just going to keep crumbling, 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 okay? Nice and messy. You can see how messy that is, okay? Lots of little ridges. You want to just stay on one side, okay? And what you're going to do, I've got my little sample painting here, for a more natural look, I'll show you a more sculpted look in just a moment, but for a more natural look, you generally want to just focus on the ends of your branches. That's where your leaves grow. And I don't want you to think about having them all stick perfectly on your branches. Remember, it's more like confetti, <laughs> so we're going to go all over. Now what I like to do, let me just show you this real quick, you're going to take a little bit of white or whatever color you want for your blossoms on your paper towel. And then I'm gonna go onto my paint plate and I'm just gonna kinda of stamp that into my paper towel a little bit, okay? This way your areas don't get too bright too quickly, okay? So I'm just stamping off a little bit and I'm just gonna keep that over to the side here so I can just kinda of go back in and stamp on a little more paint when I need to, okay? So over here on the top, using light pressure, I'm just gonna start kind of dabbing and stamping. Now, the most important thing is that you keep your paper towel moving, okay? Kind of go in at different angles. You don't want the same mark over and over. It's gonna look much more natural if you kind of keep your brush rotating, okay? Now, or <laughs> your paper towel rotating in this case. Okay, so you can see very simply, just focusing on the ends of those branches, that's all you need to do. You can see I've got a really nice, light kind of foliage texture. Now, if you want to do something a little more sculpted like this, we're going to make this a little more dense at the top now. Okay, so I'm going to take a little more white. I'm still going to stamp just a little bit on there, but now I am going to sort of kind of sculpt a top edge here. Okay, now again, as your paper towel sort of runs out of paint, you'll be able to blend those edges and sort of soften things a little bit. So that's something nice to keep in mind, okay? Now just like this guy, we're just gonna be a little bit more dense at the top and we're gonna kinda of let that paint run out as we work our way down, okay? Now this is a good example. You can kinda of see I get that same mark twice because I hit the, or hit the paper towel on the same side. So what you wanna do, go right on top, you're gonna to kinda of twist around and it's going to soften that, okay? So if you get anything that kinda of looks like you're starting to create a little pattern, that's where you want to try and go back in, okay? So you can see I'm bringing that down a little bit. You can go down and over your branches. You will still be able to see your branches through the texture in those lighter areas, which is really, really nice. Now for this one, you can kind of see we have a little bit of a curve. So you can, of course, stop here. But for this guy, I'm just going to kind of stamp on my little curve here. I'm just using a little corner of that paper towel. You kind of see, and I'm just going to use less and less pressure as I work my way out, just like that, okay? But you can kind of see you can keep it soft. Use your paper towel as it runs out of paint to add more texture on those edges. Try not to make anything too perfect. Trees are not perfect, okay? Have some fun with this. Stay a little messy and stay safe, okay? I hope you guys enjoy these techniques. Have fun.